Greetings, Internet! I am Ken from the Computer Clan, and today we're going to talk about... Handles on computers? Alright then. From the beginning, Apple liked to put unique features into their computers that competitors didn't really think of. And one of those little features, dating all the way back to the original Macintosh in 1984, was a carrying handle. So today I want to show you more of the other Apple products that had handles built in. We won't cover every one, but we'll cover some of the fun ones. So the Apple IIc technically wasn't a Macintosh, but it was an Apple computer, and this product actually had a built-in handle as well. It came out just a couple months after the original Macintosh did. So a couple years later, in March 1987, the Macintosh SE was released. This is one of my computers in my collection, and it has a similar handle design on the back, like the original Macintosh, so it was easy to move around from room to room. Then we get to the Macintosh Color Classic. This was released in February of 1993, and it featured an all-new design language called Espresso. So it was a little more of a curvy design, but it still had the carrying handle on the back. And if you want to see more of the Macintosh Color Classic in action, you can check out Vintage Apple Vault, which is the Computer Clan show these clips are from. So introduced in May of 1998, we have the iMac. Steve Jobs was back at the company, the design language was being changed, so we had this all new, beautiful looking computer with a carrying handle on the back. And the carrying handle actually had ventilation around it, so it doubled as part of the cooling system. And speaking of combining the handle and the cooling system into one feature, a future Mac actually did something very similar, and we'll get to that in a bit. So introduced in January of 1999, we have the blue and white Power Mac G3, which was the first new Power Mac G3 system introduced with the new design language to kind of mimic where Apple was going with the iMac design. Now this computer had the handles built into the top, and they kind of mimicked the design of the feet that suspended the computer. And the joke is that the handles kind of look like spoilers on a car. So it's like, the computer is so fast, we had to add spoilers to it. So, a nice heavy tower with built-in handles. That was convenient. And this computer also had another cool feature that Steve Jobs showed off. And I'll show that in a future video, so feel free to stick around for that. So fast forward a bit to July, we come to the first iBook ever introduced from Apple. The iBook G3 Clamshell, which is another computer we showed on Vintage Apple Vault. This computer had a fun flip-down handle so you can carry it wherever you walk. The feature didn't live very long, but it was still a fun, unique component to this computer. So after the whole iBook introduction, we didn't see handles built into many more computers. We really only saw the handles on the towers because they were big and heavy. But as for the future PowerBooks and the future iMacs, there weren't built-in handles. Then a little while later, the handle features kind of subsided aside from the Mac Pro, which is kind of sad because I really wish I had a handle on my Mac Mini. Just kidding, it weighs like two pounds. That would be, that'd be kind of stupid. So we're gonna fast forward to September of 2006, where the 20 inch Intel iMac was introduced. And forgive me if I'm stupid, but I always use the rear exhaust vent as a handle. I mean, it's kind of recessed enough to be used as a handle, but it also is a vent. Maybe it wasn't a handle after all. I've just been using it that way. Was that stupid of me? After this computer, the handle features really were disappearing from everything Apple, except for the Mac Pro. They still had the handles on there because the computer was big and heavy. Handles were necessary. But no new design featured a handle built into it until the 2013 Mac Pro. So this late 2013 Mac Pro had a built-in handle around the top, and that is also where the exhaust vent was. So again, it was two functions into one feature, exhaust vent and handle, and that was it. Ever since then, Apple has not built a handle into any of their other products, which is totally okay, right? I mean, look at the iMac Pro. Sure, it's a $13,000 computer and it weighs, what, 21 and a half pounds? You don't need a handle to transport that around. Anyway, the handle was a cool feature, but I think it's just lived its life, you know? It's not needed as much anymore. But let me know what handle design was your favorite, and let me know what other unique features Apple started killing off that you really liked. Like MagSafe, perhaps. That was a cool one. Bummer. And do stick around because I have more unique Apple features I want to show on future Tidbytes videos. And if you want to get a more in-depth look into individual Apple products, I highly recommend checking out the Computer Clan show, Vintage Apple Vault. So there you have it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the not-too-distant future.